Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Storytime with Diane Oak. Today's story is Disney Coco, the story of Dante. Miles away from the nearest town sat an abandoned farm. Living there was hard, but one scrappy puppy made the best of it. He was a Sholoids Quintly, or Sholo for short. Every morning, he stretched and yawned, snacked on vegetables from a once loved garden, and quenched his thirst with rainwater from a nearby trough. The puppy didn't always know what to do, but he learned how to follow his instincts. After a time, he knew he had to move on from the farm. There wasn't much left for him to eat, and he wanted to find friends. So he began his journey. He walked for a while and arrived in the cemetery of a town called Santa Cecilia. The day before was Dia de los Muertos, and the townspeople had left quite a scene behind. The Sholo's nose led him to hidden treats and treasures. There were so many things to see and eat that the eager puppy didn't know what to try first. Once the puppy had filled his belly with delicious food, he settled under the boughs of an oak tree. He was ready for a siesta. After his nap, he saw that many other stray animals had arrived in the cemetery. Dogs, cats, and birds romped, played, and flitted around the tombstones. Then the Sholo joined the fun. He realized he had found amigos. Just then, the pup's nose caught a whiff of something amazing. He loved playtime, but his curiosity had been piqued. He followed the delicious aroma to see where it might lead. His nose led him into town, but nothing could have prepared him for what he saw next. Santa Cecilia's main street was filled with exquisite food and delicacies. It was glorious. The Sholo spotted a little boy who seemed to know everyone. So the pup followed him in search of a decent meal. It wasn't long before the boy, his name was Miguel, noticed the puppy and started introducing him to the nice people in town. Don Pancho the baker, Luisita, the street taco vendor, Senor Gonzalez, the butcher, and Senora Sina, the teacher. Thanks to them, the puppy tried all sorts of delicious treats. Fortunately, they always enjoyed the puppy's visits too and would make sure he never went hungry again. But there were also people who felt the Sholo was a nuisance. There was Chato, the garbage collector, who always yelled at the street dog to get off his truck. And Senor Lucas, never again would the puppy trespass on his property. Once the Sholo crawled underneath his barbed wire fence and narrowly avoided getting a painful scratch on his back. Then there was Abuelita. She made the most incredible tamales. The puppy thought he could sneak one without getting caught. Get out of here, she'd yell as the pup fled the hacienda. He often heard her grumble, street dogs, the only things I like less than musicians. After months of learning how to survive in Santa Cecilia, the puppy got bigger and stronger and so did his friendship with Miguel. The two would spend their days having fun and being goofy. 
The dog often joined Miguel as he shined shoes in the plaza. They would always listen to the mariachis. This became one of the dog's favorite routines. The weather, music, and company made for a perfect afternoon. However, these happy occasions did not always go according to plan. If Abuelita saw Miguel with the Sholo, her sandal would go flying. The dog would run away to keep from getting hit. The Sholo knew he shouldn't follow Miguel home after times like those. So he would sneak back to his haven in the cemetery and look forward to his next encounter with Miguel. One morning, the Sholo awoke to the beautiful sounds of a guitar. He followed La Musica, hoping it would lead him to his amigo and found Miguel in the shade of a tree. The dog stayed with Miguel while he practiced his music. A few days had passed since the visit under the tree and the Sholo missed his friend. He realized that Miguel was the best part of Santa Cecilia. He'd risk just about anything to be near him. The dog usually followed his nose, but this time he followed his heart. And what he found was a warm embrace. What are you doing here? Miguel laughed as the Sholo licked his face. I know you're not my dog. You belong to all of Santa Cecilia, but everyone needs a name. I'm going to call you Dante, okay? Dante thought his new name was perfect. The end.